Good morning, people. While I just woke up to this heartbreaking news, the news is is that former Denver Broncos owner and Hall of, Hall of Fame owner who will be inducted this August, Pat Bolin, has died at the age of 75 after battling Alzheimer's disease. Pat Bolin, who purchased the Broncos back in 1984 and for the next 35 seasons, he has built one of the most winningest franchises in the NFL. Because under his direction, the Broncos appeared in nine AFC championships, seven Super Bowl trips, with three of with three championships to to brag about. Even though the the last championship in 2015, he really wasn't a part of the team anymore because of his because he couldn't make so much public appearances because of his battle with Alzheimer's. But Pat Bolin, at the age of 75, has passed away. I mean, not only what did he was he great for the game of football and, and to this organization, which he was. He was great to the Denver community and everything. One of his most famous phrases was, This one's for John. The championship he gave John Elway following Super Bowl 32. Then he did it again the following year in Super Bowl 33 when he told John Elway, This one's for you. But then... After Super Bowl 50, Elway gave him a championship by saying this one's for Pat, even though Pat was not there. Pat Bolin left a great legacy in Denver and the NFL because he was the number back in 1993. He was the, I mean, when it came to TV deals and stuff that, that the NFL had with networks, he really, really, really played a big factor in some things like in 1993 when the TV deals were up and Fox was bidding to try to get a deal with one of the packages AFC or NFC package or Monday Night Football a lot of people thought Fox was crazy because even though the Fox did have shows like because if you don't know Fox in 1987 originally bid to try to get the NFL on CB on on the N Monday night football excuse me but they went with ABC once again because Fox didn't improved to be a major network but in 1993 however when Fox was about to bid again Pat Bowen was all in for it when many people thought he was crazy because guess what not everybody had a Fox affiliate not everybody had a and Fox wasn't it was still just an upstart network, but when the NFL came to Fox, it really made Fox a network, and they have Pat Bowen to thank for that, being the one owner that was all in to bring football to Fox and create Fox Sports, and then and then in 2004, 11 years later, when the NFL TV deals were up again, and he was all good, he was all in for flex scheduling where they move matchups to probably Sunday night to Sunday night football a marquee matchup because you know during the season anything could happen and originally a game that was scheduled for Monday night football might not be worth watching because either one team is good the other team is bad or both teams are crap And Pat Bowen was, was all in for flex scheduling as well. His impact he had on the Broncos, the city of Denver, the NFL, and how he basically helped make Fox a na major network by bringing the NFL there is just something to look forward to. Sad to Good thing he was able to hear that he will be inducted in Canton this upcoming August. Sad to say he won't see it. Really wish they could have inducted him last year so he could see it. But, hey, at least he knows he was going to get himself in Canton. Rest in peace, Bat Bolin, at age 75. This is David. I'm out. Peace.